The Brackets Editor is developed by Adobe. And it is the same editor as Adobe Edge Code. What's the difference is that the Adobe Edge Code has some additional features for their Adobe Creative Cloud service. And Adobe released the Brackets Editor under the MIT license, for fully using the source code, editing it, extending it, and selling it. They made all this for the community. The cool thing about Brackets is that HTML5 was the one of the languages that was used to create the editor. Brackets was specially created for web developers. And it has all the things you need. The Brackets editor consists of five sections. The menu tab The Explorer, which is similar as the Explorer plugin in Notepad++. It is split in two parts. The working part, where you can see all the currently opened files that you are working on. In the second part, you can see all the files and folders that are contained in the source folder. By right-clicking anywhere in the Explorer, you have an option to create a file, create a new folder, rename a file or folder, delete a file or folder, refresh the file tree, and so on. On the right side, we have three buttons. The Live Preview button, which I will explain it in a moment, then the Extension button, where you can install an extension, or also known as plugin, and the third button only shows when you have a new update. On the bottom, we have the Status Bar, where you can see few informations about the current HTML document like the current line, current column, how many lines are there in the file, the default number of spaces for intending the HTML document, and current language in the file. And in the center, in the white area, is where we will insert our HTML code. The cool feature about this editor is the suggestion and the autocomplete feature. So if we start writing a tag, it will automatically show us a suggestion list of HTML tags. And when we finish writing the opening tag, the closing tag will be automatically inserted. So you don't need to worry if you forgot a closing tag. You can also increase the font size if you want. Just go in the view menu and choose increase font size. You can also increase the font size by holding the control key and hitting the plus key twice. 
the same suggestion and autocomplete feature works on attributes. So let's write another tag and inside it let's write the id attribute. And as we write the attribute, the editor automatically knows that this is an attribute and it gives us a suggestion list of attributes. And when we select the desired attribute, it auto completes the attribute by inserting the equal sign and a value holder. Before I mention it, the Live Preview button. The Live Preview feature allows you to run the current HTML page on a local server, just by clicking on the Lightning Sign button. So with this, we will get a site running on a local server. So the local server runs as a real server, just like the websites you are visiting on the internet. The only difference is that only you can see your web page and no author. In the address bar, if you see, we don't have some www.somesite.com, but numbers. This is the IP address of the local server. And this is the port on which this server is running. It's an IP address because the real name of the server is an IP address. But because we can't remember the IP address of every site, we use domains to access the site. Also, if we see here, we have the index page in the address bar. The IP address represents the source folder where the page is located, in this case in the getting started folder. So the getting started folder is the source folder. The next cool thing in brackets is the support of extension. So click on the extension button under the live preview button. The extension manager will open. Here we have two tabs. The available tab and the install it tab. In the install tab, you can see all the extensions that are installed. And in the available tab, you can see all the extensions you can install. For our development, we will install the indentator extension, which I will explain in the next lesson. So search for the indentator plugin in the search field. and click on the install button of the indentator plugin. The plugin will be downloaded and installed. And the last button, which looks like a green present, it is shown only when there is a new update of the brackets editor. And by clicking on it, it will take you to the download page.
So that's all for this tutorial lesson. In the next upcoming lessons, we'll use the brackets editor to code websites in HTML.